Hello, card floppers. Welcome to Saturday Night Spotlight, where I open one pack of uh, trading cards from a game I think more people uh, should be aware of. And I'm dropping things. I uh, should be aware of. So, Digimon. Card game. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, both Digimon and Pokemon came out about the time I was in high school, so I don't exactly have warm fuzzies about either one. In fact, I really didn't care. I was full on magic, so. But I saw it came back, watched some videos of it. Actually, the game seems pretty cool. I don't know. I may get more into it. I may not. Either way, I've got a pack of Exros Encounter. What is the actual name of the set? You can't call it that. Can't call it something you can't pronounce. Can you? I don't know. It doesn't say. So that's what we're calling it. Exros Encounter. Alright. I guess it's an interesting little uh, back to the cards. So. Alright. First, we're starting off with an option. Cost of three. Impulse Memory Boost. Main, you may play one Pulsimon from your hand without paying its play cost. Then, place this card in your battle area. Main Delay. By trashing this card in your battle arena, battle area, activate the effect below. You can't activate this effect the turn this card enters play. Gain two memory. And when you reveal it during a security effect, place this card in its owner's battle area. Simple enough. Ooh, got some big golem energy right here. Golemon. He's a level four Digimon. Play cost of five. Uh, deploy cost level three. One. Level one, level three. So you got to put him on top of a level three. Uh, does 5,000 damage. Also, it doesn't have an effect. So, it doesn't carry over. Quitzelmon. Digimon. Play cost 4. Deploy cost level 3. 2. Which, um... Purple energy. 4,000 damage. Uh, 4,000 damage points. Digi points. Deplorables. Uh, Deadpools. There we go. 4,000 Deadpools. Um... Armor Purge. When this Digimon will be deleted, you may trash the top card of this Digimon to prevent that deletion. That's pretty cool. Wedding Weddingmon. Uh, play cost of seven. DP of eight thousand. Deploy cost. Um, deployment cost level four. Two. Only two yellow. And they don't do anything. Oh, here we go. Puyon Dump. It uh, sounds more like sounds more like a problem you need to see your doctor about. But anyway, cost two. Uh, main one of your Digimon gains piercing for the turn. When this Digimon attacks and deletes an opponent's Digimon, it performs any security checks it normally would. Then, if you have a Digimon in play with Angoramon in its name or with Angoramon in its Digivolt Digivolution cards suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Turn it sideways. Still. Suspend. Uh, security check. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then add this card to its owner's hand. That's pretty good. Oh. Now that is freaking sweet right there. Cyberdramon. It costs level 4, 3, blue, 7,000 DP. Hand, main. Don't maim your hand, but just, it, yeah. Main phase, in your hand. If you have a Digimon with blue flare and its traits in play, by, playing th by paying 3 memory, place this card under one of those Digimon as its bottom Digivolution cards. Then unsuspend that Digimon. And it's 
inherit effect? Yeah, there we go. Inherited effect. All turns. When your opponent has two or more Digimon in play, this Digimon gets 1,000 DP. Very nasty. Okay, here we go. Skull Knight Mon. Mighty Axe Mode. This might be the full art version. No, because that was the same thing. Um, play cost four. Digivolution cost level three with three black. Uh, 5,000 DP. The name of this card, Digimon, is also treated as Skull Knightmon and Deadly Axemon. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Knightmon in its name, one Deadly Axemon, or one Nene. Nene Amano among them to your hand. Trash the rest. Then, if DigiX Cross. If Digi X crossing with two cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a pay cost four or less. Damn. Digi cross, Skull Knightmon, and Deadly Axemon. When you will play this card, you may place speci specified cards from your hand battle area under it. Each place card reduces the play cost. Hmm. That was pretty cool. Um, Pixmon. It is a Digi Egg, so I think that means it's got a different background. Digi eggs, you see, you put them like it's separate from your build deck. I think, yeah. So far, all those are just that. Uh, big ones. I wonder where they got that name from. It's a level two, yellow, inherited trait when attacking. If the Digimon has Ecros, Ecros Heart in its trait, draw draw one. Draw one card from your deck. That's pretty cool. Brea Claw. It is a cost one option. Main. One of your Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. Then, by placing one Digimon card with Gamamon in its name from your hand under one of your Digimon as its bottom Digivolution card, draw one. Security. It's a red level security. Uh, you may pay. You may play one Gamamon from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost. That's actually pretty cool. That's a good. That's a good uh, security. Grandel Soul. It is a cost eight option. That is. Whew, that is something. When you would use this card, if you have two or more suspended green Digimon in play, reduce the cost by two. Main. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of its owner's deck. Nasty. Security. Activate this card's main effect. Even better. Ooh. We got a, got a shiny. We got two shinies. But it, it, you probably saw that one. So anyway. This uh, shiny. Shiny Digimon. Play cost eight. Digicost level four of four. 7,000 DP. Dark Knight Mon. No inherit traits. But on play, D Digivolve 1. One of your opponent's Digimon. D Digivolve 1. One of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if Digicrossy. Digicrossing with two cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon in, with a play cost 5 or less. All turns. Uh, when this Digimon would be deleted. By returning one level four or lower black Digimon card from the Digimon's Digivolution card to its owner's hands, you may play one Skullnightmon or one Deadly Axemon from this Digimon's Dig Digivolution card without paying it its play cost. That was a text. I did not expect the text, but Digicross 2... Skull Knightmon and Deadly Axemon. When you play blah 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 blah. Ooh. Ooh, now this is someone fierce right here. Play cost 11. Shoutmon X5B. This is a goddamn Gundam. Anyway. Digivo Digivolution cost level 5, 4, and or level. I think just either level 5. Four red or level five four purple. 
purple. Anyway, 12,000 DP. That is a lot of DP. Um, blocker. Armor Purge. On play. When digivolving, you may place one Digimon card with Exos Heart in its traits from your hand or from under one of your tamers under this Digimon as its bottom Digivolution card. Then, if Beelzebon is in this Digivolution, Digimon's Digivolution, Digivolution cards, you may play one level four or low, oh, level four or lower Digimon card with Exor's Hearts in its traits from your trash without paying its cost. Digicross 2, Shoutmon X5, and Belzebon. That is... That is a lot. That is a lot. Alright. Wow. Video's going on. But then again, it's like... It's, it entertains me a lot. When you've got, like, Japanese card games and American card games. Because, like, American card games, you've got... Like, for example... Here, you got this. You know, it does four damage. But, you know... Or, uh, you know, like, you know, creature 2-2, two, two, and that's kind of average for it. And then you got Japanese cards where it's like 12,000 damage. Or, don't even get me started on, like, Dragon Ball, where you keep, like, dealing million point of dam millions of points of damage. So... It amuses me. It amuses me greatly. Anyway, definitely play this because just look at that guy. That guy's that guy. That, that, that guy is freaking sweet. I do like that one. Um, yeah. I mean, I got, I got one of the mons that'll go with him. So anyway, um, I do like that. That main effect's pretty sweet. So I'd probably I would play that. Um, eh. I mean, I do like its main. I think you get to draw a card. Um, otherwise, not so much. Um, that's a good starter. Um, when attacking, you draw one. That's a good start to have. Uh, there we go. See? See, there you go. Boom. I mean, they don't do anything, but... Five to seven, that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I'd play those two. Uh, I do like this, and I do like its ability. So, I'd probably do that. If you have two more Digimon in play, this gets plus two, plus a thousand. Sweet. Um, I do like this one. Basically, boom, put security effect. I like the security effect. The spin one, and then you put this in your hand. And you go back. Um... Not much going on there, but yeah, maybe, maybe not. If I was if I was doing a yellow deck, yeah. Um, I do like that. I do like this. I like the artwork. I like the pretty freaking sweet. Uh, so probably maybe. Definitely, gotta love some big golem energy here. So, and uh. Mm, Again, if you... Well, I mean... Trashing it would give you two memory. Which, if you know... If you know, if you don't know about what memory is, it's kind of like the mana of Digimon. But, it's like, when you use X amount, if you use too much, it's like you and your opponent have like this... I don't want to say thread row thing. It's like if you use so much memory, it becomes their turn, and when they use so much memory, it becomes your turn. So, like for example, this character uses a play cost of eleven, so you'd pay eleven memory, I believe, and then like they get whatever. If it goes over into their territory, they get that much. Kind of reminds me of the old um, Lord of the Rings game from back in like the early two thousands. Um. Which I may, which I, yeah, I probably will crack, uh, crack open a pack for one pack retro or something. But until then, 
I will see you tomorrow. And have a digitastic day. There we go. We'll go with that.